Today let's join Evelyn and Phil in their walking tour. Buses are already waiting to take them to the Speyer city. By the way our ship location is in Germersheim, Germany. Speyer, historically known in English as Spires, is a city in Rhineland Palatinate in Germany with approximately 50,000 inhabitants. Located on the left bank of the river Rhine, Speyer lies 25 kilometers south of Ludwigshafen and Mannheim, and 21 kilometers southwest of Heidelberg. It took 30-minute bus drive to reach the city from ship location. Speyer Cathedral is historically, artistically and architecturally one of the most significant examples of Romanesque architecture in Europe. It is, by virtue of its proportions, the largest, and, by virtue of the history to which it is linked, the most important. Speyer Cathedral, a basilica with four towers and two domes, was founded by Conrad II in 1030 and remodeled at the end of the 11th century. The cathedral has always been a symbol of state power. Today, German chancellors like to show state visitors this historic monument. Cathedral warden Bernhard Volk has met many of the world's great and good here Gorbachev and Yeltsin, Bush and Thatcher, Kohl and Schroeder. The town is certainly an ancient one as it was recorded on one of the Greek geographer Ptolemy's maps, dated 150 AD as Novio Magus. In fact, it is one of the oldest cities in Germany. As you can imagine, there are many delightful parts of Speyer to explore, including its location in the wine-growing region. Speyer was one of the most important centers of Jewish culture along the Rhine, although precious little of that settlement remains today. However, some ruins from the old judicious Viertel Jewish quarter can still be seen behind the Palatinate. There are many restaurants to choose from in Speyer, serving various cuisines. You could try the Goldener Hirsch at Maximilianstrasse 908 for sample the famous local dish. Fulzir Salmagen. Palatine Sau Stomach. Here is Evelyn buying some food for snack from the local vendor. It looked like she is having a hard time choosing what to buy.
After a long morning adventure, Phil and Evelyn are heading back to the bus that will take them back to the ship. Now, it is time for lunch. And for a couple of hours the ship is sailing for the next destination. At night, Phil and Evelyn decided to have dinner at Aquavit Terrace. Is a bow location lounge with panoramic floor ceiling retractable glass walls separating indoor and outdoor seating areas. It is a separate floor from the main dining lounge. After dinner, Phil and Evelyn decided to walk around the sun deck of the ship admiring sceneries at night.